Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 9, Data Warehouse Part 2. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the metadata of Data Warehouse, explain example of Data Warehouse and describe the data mining. Since Data Warehouse is a big and expensive project, you need to choose the right DBMS to run a Data Warehouse. These are the requirements needed for the DBMS to run a data warehouse. The first one is load performance. It must be fast as the data is huge. The second one is load processing. Load data into the data warehouse must be done periodically and only involve change data. The third one is data quality management. It must give user precise result even though data is huge. The next one is query performance. Ad hoc analysis must not be slow. The next one is terabyte scalability. Size can be scaled up when needed. Then, mass user scalability. Number of users can be increased without affecting the performance. And you need to have network data warehouse. It should be able to cooperate in a larger network environment. For warehouse administration, the DBA must be ready all the time to support any operation in the data warehouse. For integrated dimensional analysis, data representation can be done from the data warehouse. And the last one, advanced query functionality. Any advanced query by the user for calculation and comparative analysis can be done. Here listed are the component of data warehouse metadata. The first one is transformation maps. Records that show what transformations were applied to the data. The second one is extraction and relationship history. Records that show what data was analyzed. Then we have algorithm for summarization. Methods available for aggregating and summarizing the data. The next one is data ownership. Records that show the origin of the data. And the last one is about pattern of access. Records that show what data are accessed and how often it is being accessed. These are the general metadata issues in Data Warehouse. What tables, attributes and keys does the Data Warehouse contain? Where did each set of data come from? What transformations were applied with cleansing? How have the metadata changed over time? How often do the data get reloaded? And are there so many data elements that you need to be careful what you ask for? These are the questions that are always being asked regarding the metadata in the data warehouse. Many industries can use data warehouse application. These are the example of industry and the key applications of data warehouse. In airline, we can use yield management and route assessment. For telecommunications, we can use customer retention and network design. For insurance, we can use risk assessment, product design and fraud detection. And for retail, we can use target marketing and supply chain management. Accompanying the rapid emergence of data warehouses is the related concept of data marts. Data mart is an architecture for a data warehouse in which user departments access data marts rather than the data warehouse. Or what we can say, data mart is a subset of data warehouse. The reason for data mart is built because to provide users with faster access while isolating them from data needed by other user groups. Smaller data warehouse called data marts are often used. If you take a look in the diagram on your screen, we can see accounting department has their own data mart, finance department has their own data mart, same goes with development and production department. The combination of these data marts will make up one big data warehouse. Simply storing information in a data warehouse does not provide the benefits an organization is seeking. To realize the value of a data warehouse, it is necessary to extract the knowledge hidden within the data warehouse. Data mining is one of the best ways to extract meaningful trends and patterns from huge amounts of data. Data mining discovers information within data warehouse that queries and reports cannot effectively reveal. Simply, we can say, data mining is the process of discovering implicit patterns in data and using these patterns for business advantage. It facilitates the ability to detect, understand and predict the patterns in data. 
let's consider the situation in telecommunication industry. Currently, there are more than 3 billion of smartphone users in the world. Normally, we will use the smartphone for social media such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and so on. As a manager of the telecommunication company, after take a look at the data warehouse and you have done the data mining, you found that the trend of social media application is being used. More customers subscribe to the social media plan every single month. Hence, you have an idea to make sure the users stick with your company. You have made a decision to develop a new mobile data plan which user only need to pay 30 ringgit data plan for them to get free access to any social media app. By doing that, you are following the current internet plan trend by user and make them satisfied and stay with your network. I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.